Did you know that historical records in Africa, according to Makitanja 2015, have shown the existence of little or no significant gender inequalities in the traditional African society, but rather the complementary role of women to men? Traditionally, women have served as queen mothers and queens, and in certain cases they have served as political chiefs, holding offices in their villages and towns. They have also held high positions in the economic life of their societies. But from the onset of colonization, many girls were exempted from attending schools, mainly because our colonial masters were more interested in educating men and in training them in governance and administration. By the time women were allowed to enroll in the educational system, there was already a wide gender gap. A gap which many women and men who are allies are fighting tirelessly to obliterate till this date. Tonight on this platform, I choose to celebrate a woman I call an unsung heroine. A woman who has greatly impacted my region, yet has gone wildly unrecognized. She has excelled in both worlds, holding her place in the African traditional society as well as the, as well as the, um, forgive me. She has excelled in both worlds, holding her place in the African traditional society as well as the corporate world. She is none other than the man Rehema of the Achode traditional area, Nana Alia Isonyinacha Atakra the first. She hails from a small farming village known as Kui in the Nkwanta South Municipality. My regional minister, Honorable Joshua Mayena Makubu, tells me, it is not about where you come from, but who you are and how determined you are to achieve your dreams. She started her elementary education from the St. Paul's Catholic School in Kumasi, and then proceeded to write a common entrance examination at the St. Louis Secondary School. She then proceeded to the University of Cape Coast, where she acquired a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration Marketing. She served as the Vice President of the Publicity Committee of the Joint Consultative Committee of the OT Region, a committee that fought so hard for the creation of the new OT Region, a region I am proud tonight to represent. She was ensued as Queen Mother in the year 2018 and then became the President of the Tem Kotokoli Queen Mothers Association of Ghana. As a Queen Mother, she organizes educational workshops for all the Queen Mothers in Ghana and the diaspora. She has settled a lot of disputes in the Oti region, especially the Achode traditional area, thereby bringing about peace and unity in her community. Nana is a philanthropist and a nation builder with a philosophy that life should not be measured by one's wealth, but by how much they have impacted the lives of others. Due to this, she has supported a lot of brilliant but needy students. Her support for brilliant but needy students has relieved a lot of parents of their burdens and also helped at least 35 young people whose education would have otherwise been truncated. She is also a fashion designer and eager to impart into other people what she has been able to learn. She has acquired a piece of land on which she hopes to establish a vocational and skills training center for the youth of Nkwanta and its environs. Nana also has a counseling team which seeks to settle marital disputes and unite homes. Growing up as a child, a girl child who wanted to get her education so much in the Islamic community was quite challenging for her. Sourcing funding and sometimes getting her queen mothers from their various towns to the district's capital is quite a challenge for her, yet she has not let this deter her. Ladies and gentlemen, my heroine tonight is a queen mother, a philanthropist, a nation builder and a mentor from whom many young people have learned a myriad of values, traits, and inspiration. She has left an indelible mark in the lives of many people, including myself. Know her name, say her name. She is Nana Aliya Isonyina Cha Atakra, the first. <laughs> <laughs> 